Ryan Williams, the true freshman, is still the hottest thing around in college football, and he's got all of college football world buzzing right now, and rightfully so. And if you didn't know by now, Ryan Williams is the 17-year-old phenom being compared to guys like Devontae Smith, a former Heisman winner, who Drew just absolutely went off in this game. Six receptions, 177 yards, a touchdown. He might be the one with the statue next to Nick Saban before it's all said and done, not Kalen DeBoer. But let's have an interesting conversation, right? This is, a, this is a hot topic. We talked about it uh, a little bit before the show. Ryan Williams was ranked the number eight player in the country, only ranked behind receivers like Jeremiah Smith, the number one ranked player in the country last year, and Cam Coleman at Auburn. We'll talk about him in a second. But Jeremiah Smith is balling too, right? So it lends to this question. If you had to pick a guy right now, choose your fighter. Would it be Jeremiah Smith or Ryan Williams? There is no wrong answer, but I am pretty interested to get your uh, feedback on this one. You said choose your fighter. Cooper, what is your uh, favorite two ice cream flavors? You got two for me or am I putting you on the spot there? No, I know this. Mint chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, well, I think we are walking into the ice cream parlor. You only get one scoop. You're on a bit of a diet here, and you got to choose one, and that is Ryan Williams, Jeremiah Smith. Man, they are both awesome, and everyone's going to point to the age here. Uh, you said it. If you haven't heard, Ryan Williams, 17 years old, but Jeremiah Smith is still a young pump. He's a year and two months older than Ryan Williams. He will turn 18 in November Cooper, these guys put on a show, and while Ryan Williams was doing it in the SEC, right, it was Jeremiah Smith against Michigan State. I've always called this kid a bully at the catch point, uh, and the scouting report proved to be true against the Spartans. He had that nasty kind of one-hander over two defenders on the sidelines, and then guess what? He tracks it with one hand to score a touchdown, also had a rushing touchdown against Michigan State. And if you look at the statistical picture, we just saw it right there on the screen. I mean, these guys are neck and neck. And really, to me, Cooper, I think it comes down to Ryan Williams or Jeremiah Smith. Which type of receiver do you like? To me, both of them are fast. I think you can make the case, hey, maybe, you know, Ryan Williams is a little bit more finesse. But on the other side, Jeremiah Smith is more power. They are two different types. For me, I think the guy I side with, I like the bigger bodies on the outside, the guys that can win the 50-50 one. So I would go Jeremiah Smith. It's close. We haven't had him in a national standalone spotlight game just yet. That is coming on the schedule. Uh, and so I, I'm going with my guy, Jeremiah Smith. Ohio State, Oregon set the link up here in a couple of weeks as well. It doesn't seem just because of the schedule that Jeremiah Smith has had his moment yet right we saw ryan williams against wisconsin so i'm on the biggest stage of college football on saturday against georgia one of the best defenses in the country drew here's a question for you how, how much better can jeremiah smith get because you turn on the tape over the last four weeks of the season and i still see a guy physically yes he, he's almost at that dominant stage as an 18 year old freshman but i think there's a lot of meat left on the bone He's very advanced in terms of a technical route runner, very strong at the point of attack. He turns those 50-50 balls into a 90-10 advantage. But this is a dude, physically, Drew, that two years from now, I mean, you compared him to Megatron coming out. I, I, I think this guy's just scratching the surface of what he's going to be, which is diabolical when you kind of think about what he's been doing on the field on Saturday nights. Yeah, Cuba, I remember that first recruiting scouting team call when I said, hey, guys, Jeremiah Smith reminds me a little bit of Calvin Johnson, and uh, I think you all looked at me like I was crazy. This is back when Jeremiah Smith was a pup. And Coop, I've done so many uh, radio interviews, so many newspaper stories. Everyone's writing about jo Jeremiah Smith, and I can continue to ask about him. And uh, last week, Columbus Dispatch, I was I was on the phone with one of those guys, and it totally reminded me. I have called, or at one point I was calling Jeremiah Smith a puppy, and, and why? He's always had those big features. He's got big hands, right, big feet, and I think what has made him who he is is he wasn't always the biggest individual. You could see the growth potential from a young age, but when he was in the parks in South Florida, he had to create separation with his footwork, with his route running, because he wasn't the biggest guy. He wasn't the bully at the catch point. He's added 46 pounds in the past three years. That's per our numbers in the database. It's the first time we measured him to at the All-American Bowl. I think he's put on even more size since he's arrived at Ohio State. And one of the reasons why, Cooper, he picked the Buckeyes is because of the Brian Hartline. 
that Jeremiah Smith, his family, his camp, they thought Brian Hartline was the receiver coach that could fine tune him and get him to the next level. So what can he be? I think you look to the NFL, what we have seen the past two weeks from Marvin Harrison there for the Arizona Cardinals. I think if you ask everyone in Columbus, where does Jeremiah Smith kind of stack up with Marvin Harrison? I think they're going to side with Jeremiah Smith. So I, I think the sky's the limit, Cooper. I think we're looking at one of the greatest of all time. And with that being said, I mean, Ryan Williams, what we saw from him or we have seen from him thus far and, and really against a very talented Georgia defense. I thought you brought this up when we were talking on the phone over the weekend. Ryan Williams, that touchdown to give the Crimson Tide the go-ahead score, there's really three key moments for it outlining for us. I mean, there was three different things he did, which all kind of make him elite in one singular play. The catch point at the 46-yard line, which is just insane, uh, between K.J. Bolden and Julian Humphrey. Four yards later at the 42, the make you miss to split those defenders. And then at the 25-yard line, the separation quickness to be able to run away from guys like that. I tweeted about this on Saturday night. K.J. Bolden ran 10.79. Julian Humphrey was a sub-10.6 guy. Ryan Williams is a sub 10 five guy who ran 10 four nine. We often talk about track speed, but for that to translate to play speed, to be able to make a catch and then be able to get into full stride and create separation between top flight defenders like those two I just talked about is absolutely crazy. At the age of 17 years old, to be able to do the things that he is doing, Drew, he is averaging 28.9 yards per reception right now, five touchdowns, one of the most explosive players in all of the game. He has eight explosives. This dude, I don't know how he can keep up at this rate, but think about what he can be when he's 18, 19 years old. The sky is the limit for Jeremiah Smith. The sky is the limit for Ryan Williams. We saw him at Alabama, Mississippi, All-American Bowl. I mean, the future is out in front of these guys. And not to mention, the guy that was ranked between them, we're not giving up on him, Cam Coleman at Auburn, but Holy smokes, Drew. Generational class, we called it, in 2024 with this receiver class. I think that 2027 NFL draft is just going to be littered with these dudes. And Jeremiah Smith, Ryan Williams, they're going to be the headliners. Uh, well, Coop, I said I'm going with Jeremiah Smith. We need to hear your answer. I think you're leaning towards Ryan Williams. Ryan Williams. The answer is Ryan Williams. Right now, uh, you said Jeremiah Smith is going to be one of the greatest of all time. I firmly believe that. This kid right here, Drew, through four or five weeks of this season, is one of the most electric players in all of college football. He is a reclassification, and right now I think is like fifth in the Heisman odds. So if you want to know how different these two guys are, they're absolute creatures from a different planet, there you have it, Ryan Williams, Jeremiah Smith. We got freshman flowers coming up next. Our guys, Ryan Williams, Jeremiah Smith, they got the first two bouquets. Stick around, see who's next. Year. <laughs> 